Here is some research that can yield an incredibly positive outcome. Now let's get rid of the caveats first. Number one, it has to be done in human trials. This is not a recommendation in dosaging or anything along those lines. Two, we're only reviewing the outcome in a lab setting, not in live animals, mice, or people as well. So again, this is in vitro. It needs to be validated as it's brought to human trials. However, just the same, pretty, pretty, pretty darn amazing. What you're looking at right here is a list of compounds. And all the way through this list of compounds, what stands out? Lactoferrin. Now we're going to get right into the research as follows. Let us begin. Now, the title. All right, keep in mind, existing drugs, blah, 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 SARS, CUV-2 in cell. Many of you remember back in April of 2020, highlight there, where a word was utilized called eradicate. And this was a reference to ivermectin. And of course, the video was banned. So keep in mind, as I'm reading through this lactoferrin uh, research, I parse my words carefully. Even though the researchers have the best intention in mind, we do live in an age where information tends to be collateral damage. So I parse my words very carefully. Of course, I don't know how that censorship has worked out for ivermectin. If you look at it today, yeah, they lost control over the argument by trying to actually ban the word ivermectin. But let us proceed as follow in reference to lactoferrin. Here we go. Existing drugs, blah, 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 SARS-CoV-2 in cells. Out of respect for the researchers as well, again, blah, 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 is not to bemoan the research. It is just to make certain that the research itself can make it to the public purview, per se. To proceed, could the next therapy for COVID-19 already be at your local pharmacy? Henceforth, lactoferrin. To proceed as well, a new ground, a lot of proceeding, a new groundbreaking study from UM researchers, reveal, researchers, forgive me, reveals, several drug contenders already in use for other purposes, including one dietary supplement that has been shown to block or reduce SARS-CoV-2 infection in cells. And I'm going to add a little bit of a amendment to that in a lab setting to proceed. The study published recently in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences uses artificial intelligence powered image analysis of human cell lines during infection control of the novel coronavirus. The cells were treated with more than 1,400 individual FDA-approved drugs and compounds either before or after viral infection and screened, resulting in 17 potential hits, as you saw earlier on the compounds. Ten of those hits were newly recognized, with seven identified in previous drug repurposing studies, including severe, which is one of the few FDA-approved therapies for COVID-19 in hospital patients, i.e., uh, focus on the lactoferrin. Quoting, we found lactoferrin had remarkable efficacy for preventing infection working better than anything else we observed, Sexton said. To reiterate, we found lactoferrin had remarkable efficacy, lab setting, for preventing infection working better than anything, lab setting as well, working better than anything else we observed. He adds that early data suggests the efficacy extends even to newer variants of SARS-CoV-2, including the highly transmissible Delta variant, in which case, many of you already know, uh, we have leaky vaccines. But to proceed as follows. Ultimately, now we're going to go to the full research itself. So if you notice the highlight here, I'm just taking out one line, uh, but to keep it in context as a whole, and we don't have time to review through obviously the full study, but at least the links and the information I provide to you, uh, it can at least spark your interest and you can delve into it deeper on your own. Proceed. Ultimately, 17 dose responsive compounds were confirmed with IC values of less than one micromole. I won't say nanomole, but it's micromole. Most noteworthy, our screen identified bovine lactoferrin a safe and widely available dietary supplement with multimodal efficacy in multiple cell sy systems, including non-transformed and physiologically relevant IEA-C2. 
Now, I want to read a little bit in depth here, and I know it's long, but however, though, every word that is mentioned in the conclusion of this particular research here as follows is just breathtakingly vital. Proceed as follows. Here, quote, we showed that lactoferrin likely has multimodal mechanism of action against SARS-CoV-2 infection. First, it strongly inhibited cellular binding of SARS-CoV-2 to cells via competition with heparin sulfate. Second, it modulated host cell innate immune responses due to increased expression of interferon stimulated genes and tumor necrosis factor alpha uh, through, through heightening the innate immune response of host cells. Orally administered lactoferrin could be effective in resolving the GI symptoms that are present in COVID-19 patients hypothetically, with a mechanism similar to norovirus infection. In addition, lactoferrin was previously shown to decrease the production of interleukin-6, which is one of the key players in cytokine storm, produced by SARS-CoV-2 infection. Bovine lactoferrin, widely available, uh, this is not a prescription or a diagnosing or, for example, making a recommendation in dosaging. We are reading per batum from the research itself and I'm reluctant to add any publisher bias with any more caveats beyond this point. But to proceed as follows. Bovine lactoferrin, widely available as 250 milligram gelatin capsules for oral administration, is classified by, by the FDA as generally recognized as safe, and therefore may represent a promising therapy for pre- may, for the studies have to be done, for pre-exposure and post-exposure prophylactics. prophylactics. As a therapeutic intervention for COVID-19 lactoferrin might exert direct antiviral and anti-inflammatory efficacy in the airway with alternative routes administration like intranasal delivery or in a nebulized formulation delivered to the uh, delivered to the lungs. Again, that is hypothesis, a reference to their recommendation uh, on regard to lactoferrin, potentially through the nasal membranes. We know why, of course and nebulized formulation, deliver it to the lungs. That's for future studies and research to confirm. Proceed. Due to its wide availability, limited cost, and strong safety profile, lactoferrin could be a rapidly deployable option for both prophylactics, prophylaxis and the management of COVID-19. Although our findings are promising and have led to several clinical studies, further studies are needed to confirm the efficacy of our lead antiviral compounds in animal models and or clinical studies. One other thing I want to highlight as well, lactoferrin seemed to also potentially work uh, anywhere from one hour, one hour to 24 hour post-infection as highlighted here and therefore in a lab setting. Therefore, they said it may have multiple ways of functioning inside the body itself uh, per se, even beyond what they believe the hypothetical route of action is. But however, again, I had to add a few um, disclaimers to the research, not a disrespect for the research itself, but we do live in an environment where information uh, tends to become collateral damage, even when being presented in the best interest of the viewer, reader, or audience as a whole. So to keep in mind, the links will be there. Uh, delve into it on your own. Uh, especially with a medical professional or medical authority as well. And it looks, it looks almost, how would you describe it? Almost too easy. But all because something seems easy doesn't mean it's not. However, future studies have to be conducted in order to validate the information just to make certain the hypothesis of what the researchers believe they see is actually there. And if it is, wow, what another product potentially that could benefit all of humanity, honestly, considering this is more of a global thing than anything else. But still, lactoferrin, bovine lactoferrin, links would be there, DOI citation will be there. And I hope I worded it in such a way that it does not, um, that it passes muster with the fact checkers or whomever. But again, gratitude, thank you. Gratitude to the research as always, because without them, we wouldn't have the research to present. 
But again, as always, thank you. And I'm humbled by you watching. And I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.